Have you ever wondered how you might possibly turn your wine into vinegar? In this video, I'm going to look at three things. One, fruit flies in your wine, acetobacter bacteria, and what to do about it. First, a disclaimer. I am not a scientist, and there have been hundreds of journals, research papers, periodicals, and a few Nobel Prizes awarded on the research of the fruit fly. You can find links to the research cited in the video down in the description section below the video. Now, my old college biology professor would probably have a fit if I did not include the following information about the Drosia melanogaster, also known as the vinegar fly. Now, let's talk about the fermentation process. Fermentation is the process of yeast consuming sugar and oxygen, releasing CO2 and alcohol, or as we like to call it, ethanol. One day, while watching one of the results of fermentation, the release of CO2 happening in your airlock, you see something suspended in your airlock liquid and you decide to take a closer look and realize there are fruit flies in there. So what happens if one or more flies make their way through the airlock and takes a header into your wine? Now another risk you run if you decide to swap out your airlock because you've seen fruit flies floating around on the bottom of it is that the anobacter is actually concentrated all up in there. And if you decide to, you want to go ahead and remove your airlock too quickly, you saw that, you noticed that, you noticed that some of your fluid or liquid in your airlock has seeped made its way down and is now floating around inside your, your wine, your must. Or suppose you didn't see any flies in your airlock, but while gazing at your carboy, you noticed a fruit fly floating around in your carboy. Okay, so what harm can fruit flies do? Well, fruit flies carry the acebacter bacteria in their gut, some of their skin as well. The acebacter is the genus of the acetic acid bacteria, and acetic acid bacteria are characterized by the ability to convert ethanol, your wine, into acetic acid. Now, for you chemists out there, here is the chemical reaction converting ethanol and oxygen into acetic acid. Acetic acid, in its more commonly used form, is vinegar, and vinegar is defined as an aquatic solution of acetic acid and trace compounds. Here's another look at the fermentation process with the addition of the fruit fly. Now, acetic acid is produced by double fermentation, which is the conversion of simple sugars to ethanol using yeast and ethanol to acetic acid by the acetic acid bacteria inherent in the fruit fly. Well, what about using sulfites to take care of the problem? Well, the problem with that is that uh, winemakers can suppress the unwanted growth of acetic bacteria in the wine by maintaining a relatively high concentration of SO2 throughout the winemaking process, but it's only suppressing the growth of the exceeding bacteria, not killing it. Not using sulfites, well, airlocks provide a line of defense, but as shown earlier, it is not always a foolproof defense. Try adding some diluted food grade sanitizer like Stersan in the airlock to help kill both the flies and the Hexetobacter bacteria. For those of you who are using a balloon as an airlock, the problem here is that as the balloon gets bigger, the pinholes get bigger as well, and this can allow the flies to get in. In, in many of my videos, when I'm using fresh fruit, you've seen me place the fruit in boiling water to kill off any wild yeast that might be on there. However, if the temperature is high enough to also kill off any acylbacter bacteria that might also be clinging onto the fruit. As for pasteurization, yes, it will kill the acylbacter bacteria. A temperature of 54 degrees Celsius or 129.2 Fahrenheit is enough to kill it. However, it will not have any effect on the acetic acid that may have already been produced. Question, can you convert acetic acid back into ethanol? Well, the short answer is yes, by using a lithium aluminum hydride as a reagent. But can you convert acetic acid back into wine? And the short answer is no. Lithium aluminum hydride is hazardous to your health. 
So in conclusion, you have learned that wine plus fruit fries can equal vinegar. Airlocks should only work if you use precautions. Balloons are not a good defense against fruit flies. Sulfites will control the acetobacteria but will not kill it. Temperature is about 54 degrees Celsius or 129 degrees Fahrenheit will kill the acidic bacteria. Once acetic acid has been created in your wine, it is there to stay. So, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons. Better yet, become a member. Better yet, become a patron. And I will continue to do more of these videos.